Represent Sesame Street, show 1452, produced in color in New York City at Reeves Teletape. Sardines and chocolate sauce, or uh, popcorn and raw egg, but, uh, eh, what difference does it make? It doesn't matter what I eat. Of course it matters what you eat. Oh, yeah? Well, who says so? I say so. I'm Gilbert. And I say so. I'm Sullivan. Oh, yeah? Why does it matter what I eat? Why? Yeah, why? You want us to tell you why? Yes, tell me why! Right though, we'll tell him why! All people need to eat a healthy, balanced, rounded diet. I'm sure you know that if you want to stay in shape, you try it. So eat your meat, some fish, some fruit, some vegetables, and water. And know that you'll be eating just exactly as you ought to. For meat, you have some hamburger, a chicken, or a lamb. Some bacon, turkey, mutton, chop, you cut the pork or ham. A steak, a stew, a hot dog, too, are tasty things to eat. Some roast beef, liver, sausage, tongue, it's all considered meat. Fa la la la, fa la la la. Yes, eating healthy food is good for you and me. Some vegetables are leafy and they're yellow, white, or green. Could be a pepper, cauliflower, broccoli, or bean. There's onions, carrots, turnips, celery, lettuce, and tomatoes. And don't forget the spinach, radish, cabbage, and potatoes. No, don't forget the spinach, radish, cabbage, and potatoes. Some fruit should be there, try a peach or a pear, try persimmon, banana, or cherries. A grapefruit, an apple, a plum, or pineapple, and let's not forget there are berries. There's strawberries, raspberries, huckleberries, elderberries, blackberries, berries so blue. There's cranberries, gooseberries, tape berries, loose berries, berries so very good for you. Your diet really should include a good amount of fish. There's mackerel, herring, flounder that could go upon your dish. There's oysters, mussels, scallops, shrimp, the swordfish, tuna, trout. A good amount of seafood you should never be without. A good, a good amount of seafood you should never be without. Fa la la la, fa la la la. Yes, eating healthy food is good for you and me. 
And don't forget the dairy group of milk and eggs and cheese. There's Lita Perrant and Camembert, there's Cheddar Swiss and Breeze. There's Parmesan and Munster, Edam, Belfa is in blue. What's a Luta hunk of Gouda is extremely good for you. What's a Luta hunk of Gouda is extremely good for you. There's bread and rice and cereal, but everybody has to have a little fun in life, a steaming bowl of pasta. There's macaroni, rigatoni, ziti, and spaghetti. There's fettuccine, tortellini, try some capoletti. There's, There's vermicelli, cavatelli, haba, mascatoni, linguini, tubertini, cavaloni, ravioli. <sighs> Grouches think that pasta's yucky. One I hate the most is gnocchi. Burkatelli, Taglitelli, Monocut is nice. And if you're sick of pasta, you can try a little rice. Yes, if you're sick, you're sick of, pasta, of pasta, you can try a little rice. All people need to eat a healthy, balanced, rounded diet. I'm sure you know that if you want to stay in shape, you'll try it. So eat your meats and fish, some fruits and vegetables and water. And know that you'll be eating just exactly as you ought to. Yes, when you eat, eat as you should. One extra thing you'll find, you'll find it all tastes good. Tastes good, tastes good, tastes good, tastes good. You'll find it all tastes good. A girl named Violet put a V in the ground, and up grew a vine with V words all around. She stepped on vest and vote and vampire, then very and voice, going higher and higher. At the top there was a railroad station, so she got on the train and took a vacation. Whisper. No, Ernie. What? Ernie, what? What are you? What are you doing with those cookies in bed, huh? The well, cookies? Well, I was just hungry, Bert, so I thought I'd have a few cookies before I went to sleep. Ernie, Ernie, don't eat those cookies while you're while you're in your bed, huh? Why not, Bert? Because you get crumbs in the sheets. That's why. Gee, Bert, I get I get crumbs in the sheets. Yeah, Ernie, if, and if there are crumbs in the sheets, they'll get in your pajamas. Ooh, crumbs in my pajamas, Bert? Yeah, yeah, Ernie, and if you get crumbs in your pajamas, they'll make you itch, you know Oh, I, I don't like to itch, Bert. No, and if you itch, you won't be able to sleep, Ernie, so don't do it, okay? Good oh. night. <sighs> oh, gee. If I eat the cookies in bed, I'll get crumbs in my sheets. And if I get crumbs in the sheets, I'll get crumbs in my pajamas. And if I get crumbs in my pajamas, I'll itch, and I won't be able to sleep. Oh, Bert! Thank you so much for stopping me from eating cookies in my bed. Oh, all right, Ernie. Just, just, just go to bed, okay? Okay. <sighs> and I'm never going to eat cookies in my bed again. Okay, good. <laughs> Ernie, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to eat cookies in your bed, Bert. <laughs> Move over. <laughs> Violin. Violin. Three of these kids belong together. Three of these kids are kind of the same. But one of these kids is doing his own thing. Now it's time to play our game. It's time to play our game.
Which of these kids is doing his own thing? Come on, can you tell which one? And you guess which kid is doing his own thing? Guess before my song is done. And now my song is done. Well, let's see, what do we got here? We got some kids, uh, four kids, and one of them, Jay, is the only boy. So that could be an answer. But wow, you just can't miss that girl that's hanging upside down there. She's really doing her own thing. Yeah, I would say that's the right answer. If you guess the girl that's hanging upside down, that's the right answer. I believe in little things that you can hardly see Like honeycomb and spiderweb and starfish in the sea I believe in little things like icy drops of rain That melt into a morning mist when the wind blows warm again I believe in little things Like colors in the sky And noticing the waves roll in And how the flowers die And knowing they'll come back again Whenever it's I believe in little things like you and me And just how big little things can be Yeah, Manny's casting office. Yeah, of course it's Manny speaking. What? Hey, you want a job in show business, huh? Uh huh, and you can sing and dance, huh? Well, sorry, sweetheart. No jobs for singers and dancers today, nah. Listen, don't call us. We'll call you, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be home for dinner the regular time. Yeah, goodbye, ma'am. All right, all right. Who's here looking for the job today? Let's see what we got in the cards today. Uh-huh. Here's a job with the fierce and ferocious animal trainers. It's a job with a circus, my friends. Uh-huh. These animal trainers need a new animal for their wild animal act. Any of you interested in such a job? No, no, me, 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 Okay, 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 quiet, quiet. What do you think this is, a zoo? Now, you can't both have the jobs. Let's see. It says here that uh, they need an animal who's, uh, uh, yellow. Any of you guys yellow? I'm yellow. Yeah, yeah, you're yellow. Come here, kid. Oh, Terrific. Oh. Come here, come here. Now, listen, kid. It also says here that this uh, yellow animal has to roar. Can you roar, kid? Me. Yeah, okay. That's a terrific roar. Sure, that'll do. Wouldn't exactly scare the apron off my grandmother, but it'll do. Okay. Hey, kid, listen, did I say next? Huh? No, I didn't say next. I'm working with this kid right here, so be patient. Yeah, huh? yeah. Right, okay. Now, this animal's got to be yellow, and it's got to roar, and you know what else? It's got to have stripes. You got stripes, kid? Uh, not really. No, you don't. Well, don't worry, kid. That's what I'm here for. Uh-huh. I'm gonna give you stripes, my friend. There you go, my friend. Now you got stripes. 
Gee, you're a pal, Manny. Yeah, anything's possible here in Manny's casting office. All right, here. Let's see. You're yellow. You got yourself a raw. You're going to work on that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. And you got stripes. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. You got something else here you got to have. What? You got to have a fur coat. How's the wardrobe, kid, huh? Well, uh... Not too good. Nah, you don't got a fur coat. Hey, yeah, you gotta do everything these days, you know? I don't know about these kids. Well, I'll go down to my own personal wardrobe here. Get your fur coat. <laughs> there you go, kid. Now you got yourself a furry coat. You're beautiful, my friend. Just yeah, beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, okay, let's check this out here. Okay. Now, you're yellow. Yep. Right? And, uh, you got yourself some stripes. Yeah. And, uh, you got that nice little roar there. <laughs> neep, 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 neep. Right, more... <laughs> hey, listen, kid, I tell ya, I'll let you sing later, all right? Okay, <sighs> now, where was I? Oh, uh, yeah, you got yourself the furry coat. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think that's it, kid. You're perfect for the job. Wow! All right, now, what you do, my friend? is you go down to the circus yeah. and you tell them, hey, I'm the kid for the new wild animal act. And kid, tell them Manny sent you, all right? Sure. All right. Okay, good luck, kid. Tear them up. Ah, uh, gee, thanks, Manny. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Mr. Excitable. Step right up here. We'll see what we can do. You want a job, right? All right. Let's see what we got here. Ah, look at this, kid. We got something. We got a job here for a banana in a cornflake commercial. But you gotta peel. What do you say, kid, huh? Dum 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 dum. Howdy there, forgetful. What you doing? Why well, can't you tell, Clementine? I'm taking care of the dog. What? You're taking care of the dog, huh? Why, well, sure. Uh, forgetful. Yep. I think you've done it again. What? Well, you done forgot one of the most important parts about taking care of a dog. Oh, no, I didn't, Clemmy. I'm going to surprise you this time. Oh, oh, boy. Because I remembered the leash. There it is. Well, yeah. Take him for a walk. A leash yep. is important. And yes. I remembered the doggy bone. Yeah, a bone is important, to, too. Yeah, chomp, chomp on bone. Uh-huh. And then I got something down here. Let me yeah, see. what is it? Oh, here's the most fun thing. This is called a ball. Oh! But, uh, you know you know what the ball is, yeah. Yeah, that's important, too, but forgetful. Yeah. I still say you're forgetting the most important thing. Is that what you say, Clementine? Okay, then what did I forget? <sighs> the dog, Forgetful Jones. You forgot Barkley. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot. <sighs>
places, everybody! Places! The play is going to start any minute! Oh, I'm so nervous. I hope everything goes smoothly. Costumes, everybody! Costumes! Bird, what about your costume? Ah! I'm not in costume! Oh, and I've forgotten my lines. Oh, I can't remember anything. Oh, no. Now, listen, don't worry, old buddy Bert. We all know our lines. Everything's going to be fine. You'll be great. It's a great play. Come on. Hello, everyone, boys and girls. I want to welcome you and thank you for coming to see today's show. Today's show was written entirely by Bert and was directed by Bert, and it stars none other than our old friend Bert. If the play is just wonderful, you can thank Bert. But if the play is horrible, you have no one but Bert to blame. Well, will you stop that? Just go to the piano and start the play. The stage manager is also Bert. <laughs> oh, welcome, dear viewer, to our little play. We're ever so glad you could join us today. You'll find it's exciting. That's really the truth. Now let's meet our star, who is known as A2. Ta -da! <laughs> Come on, folks, let's hear it for the tooth. Oh, no, they hate it already, I can tell. <clears throat> oh, I am a tooth, and I'm found in your mouth. And everyone's got them in the north, in the south. It's important to clean me at least twice a day so I won't get all yucky from mean old decay. W was I okay, huh? Was that all right? Well, that was fine, Bert. Don't worry about a thing. Where's Harry? Oh, here he comes now. I'm tooth decay and I eat at your teeth. The ones on the top and the ones underneath. <laughs> And whether you're Big Bird or Oscar in a grouch, if I get your teeth, I will make you say ouch. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Hey, come on. Hey, Harry, Harry. <laughs> oh, that was something. You even scared me, Harry. Hey, you told me to throw myself into the role. Well, just throw yourself out of it now. Okay. <laughs> Now here come our heroes, so brave and so strong. They'll help you get rid of decay before long. We first have the toothbrush and then the toothpaste, which usually has a nice cool refreshing pepperminty taste. Um, hey, hey, Bert, Bert, is this where I start to brush you, Bert? Yes, yes, we went through all this in rehearsal. Go ahead and brush me, Ernie. Okay. Oh, ha, 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 hey, ha, 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 Script say water, me get water! Oh no, I don't believe this. Now after you've brushed while we're giving you hints, take a glass of cool water and carefully rinse. Ready to rinse? Oh no, no, stop cooking! <laughs> I thought you said, ha ah, ha ha, me funny joke, me make you think you got all wet. Oh. <laughs> now you know how to keep your teeth happy and gay. And this is the end of our show for today.
eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight puppets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight puppies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight ping pong balls. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight raspberry pudding dessert. When there are two houses on a block and a house builder comes along and builds two more houses, what happens? We get new neighbors! <laughs> well, I know that, but now there are four houses. WORM TV, the Grouch Television Network, interrupts its regularly scheduled program to bring you this important message. So please listen. <laughs> today to tell you about yucky moments from the alphabet. Wait till you hear all the yucky songs they put together to make this historic recording. Why, think back and try to remember the first time you ever heard the immortal Fonz sing this familiar favorite. E. E. Yes, it's the eternal favorite A. You'll also hear the really revolting B. You'll also get the creepy crawly C, the disgusting favorite D, and the eternally icky E. You'll also hear F, and do you remember this great yucky moment? Mm. Mm. Uh. Gee! Right, G. The flip side of the incredible new record will bring you the horrible hit H, the irritating I, as well as J, 
K, L, M, the nauseating song N, and who will ever forget this? Oh! Right, the old favorite O. This special record also includes that putrid old classic P, as well as Q, R, the old slimy samba S, and how about this golden hoodie? T! <laughs> it's that terrible old world favorite T. And folks, the Grout Symphonet is also throwing in the incredibly young, ugly U, as well as V, W, X, Y, and Z. Did you ever hear of a record like this one? It's called Yucky Moments from the Alphabet. And here's the thing about this fantastic record, folks. It's not being offered in any store. It's not even being offered here. You can't get it at all. So don't send any money to anybody. Not only that, we're not going to send you any vegetable choppers either. And you know those terrific storm windows? We're not sending those. Nothing. So you please leave me alone so I can get back to listening to my grouchy record, huh? Uh... And now we return you to our regularly scheduled program. Thank you for listening. Oh, oh, please, please don't, don't. Oh. Square. Four squares. Four squares. It's a window. It's a box. box. And it's a square. A square has four sides and four corners. Look at all those animals coming out of the big square. This is Kermit the Frog with another magic finger game. Okay? Everybody want to play the magic finger game? And to play this game, you must have a magic pointy finger, which means your pointy finger, really. And you know which one is your pointy finger? It is this finger right here. Okay? You got a finger that points like that? Okay, what you do is you stay right where you are. You don't come up here by the television set where I am. You stay right where you are and you draw a shape in the air. And today, the shape we're going to draw is a square. A square. Now, if you remember what a square looks like, it's got four sides, and the sides are all the same length, and it's got four corners, and the corners are all the same, too. And, it's a, and it goes kind of, a, we're going to start up here, and we're going to go across the top, and down here, and across the bottom, and back up again, and then we're going to have this real pretty square. Okay, now when I say one, two, three, zhoot, we go. Ready? You with the pointy fingers in the air? Here we go. One, two, three, And now we're going to go down, we're going to go down here. And now we're going to go across the bottom. And now we're going to go back up to the top. There. And that is a square. Now that is a beautiful square, okay? And you'll notice that it does have these sides that I described, and it's got the four corners like I talked about it, and it can be used for things like, uh, <clears throat> well, you can use the square to uh, frame man's best friend, the frog. Mm. This is the capital letter W. It's the first letter in the name Wilbur. <laughs> Excuse me one minute, please. As I was saying, that's the capital letter W. Hey! No. 
That's the capital letter W. It's a real big letter. One, two, three. Ah! This weird story of Wanda the Witch is brought to you courtesy of the letter W. Wanda the Witch lived somewhere west of Washington. Around her waist, instead of a belt, she wore a worm. Wanda had a pet weasel. I'm a weasel. And on her head, a wiry wig. On Wednesday, in the middle of winter, Wanda walked to the well to get water to wash her wig. But the wheel on the well was worn, and Wanda grew weary. So she waved her wand, and her washtub filled with warm water. But just as Wanda was about to drop her wig into the warm water, a wild wind whipped the wig from her hand and blew it away forever. Which taught Wanda this lesson. Witches who wash their wigs on windy winter Wednesdays are wacky. <laughs> this witch story was brought to you courtesy of the letter W. Bored. <sighs>
tail shrunk. And her nose shrunk. And she grew tiny, tiny horns. And a long neck. And many spots. What would she be? An ant-eating giraffe. Mm. Mm. Good night, Ern. Mm. Good night, Bert. Pleasant yeah. dreams, Bert. Thank you. Lullaby and good night. La 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 la. Hey, hey, uh, Aaron. La, la, Ernie, is that you singing? Uh, yes, Bert. I was just singing a little lullaby to myself just to get me off to sleep, you know. Ah, uh, well, uh, could you sing it a little quieter, please? Huh? A little quieter. It's it's keeping me awake. Oh, oh, oh sure thing, Bert. Thank you. I, I wouldn't want to keep you awake just so I could sing to myself to sleep. Good. So I'll, I'll sing it quieter. Good. Lullaby and good night. La 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 la. la. Hey, Bert? Bert? Mm. I is that quietly enough? Because I, I can sing it even quieter than that, you know? See, right now, Bert, I'm singing it like this. I'm singing lullaby oh. and good night. But, but I could sing it even quieter. See, I could sing it like this. I could go lullaby and good night. Because that's even quieter. Just sing it quieter. Please, Ernie, I'm trying to sleep. Okay, Bert, that's what I'll do. I'll sing it even quieter. Lullaby and good night. Boy, that is really quiet. I didn't even know I could sing that quietly. I could hardly hear that myself. I wonder if I could sing it even quieter than that. I'll try. Oh, Ernie, what are you, what are you doing? Well, that was really quiet, Bert. <sighs> I couldn't even hear that myself. Could you hear that, Bert? No, I couldn't hear it, Ernie. Well, well, Bert, if if I sing it that quietly, it doesn't keep you awake, does it, Bert? Uh, no, I, I guess not. Well, Bert, if I sing it that quietly and it doesn't keep you awake, why aren't you asleep, Bert? Huh? <laughs> Now look here, R2. You're going to have to go much slower if you expect me to understand you. Yes, I can see you're happy. I can see that very well. You're moving around as fast as you can and leaping away like mad. But why? What makes you so happy? Oh, so that's it. You're in love. Well, that was sudden. Where did you meet? Right here on Sesame Street. Extraordinary. Tell me what she looks like. She's quiet, very polite, hardly says a word. She's short. She's shorter than you are. And she has a pointed head. Most extraordinary. Where is she now? Over there. Where? Don't look. What do you mean, don't look? I won't embarrass you and I won't stare. 
I just want to see what this wonderful creature looks like. Oh, do be quiet, R2. You're happy and you're in love, and that's wonderful. I just want to meet her, so kindly take me over and introduce me. What do you mean you're shy? You haven't been shy since the day you were assembled. Now just pull yourself together and introduce me. Come on. Well, where is she? I can't see her. Where is she? Oh, all right, I will be quiet, but... So that's the love of your life? R2, that's a fire hydrant. I'm telling you, that's a fire hydrant. Firemen come along, attach their hoses to it, turn it on, and water comes out. I'm not joking. Oh, R2, don't be sad. You know what they say. It's better to have loved a fire hydrant than never to have loved at all. Well, I think that's what they say. One zebra, two zebra, three zebras, four, four zebras, five zebras, six zebras, seven zebras. How do you do? It is I, the Count. They call me the Count because I love to count things. I, I was just playing my beautiful organ. Listen to the lovely notes. Ah, beautiful. But you know what is even nicer than playing the notes? What is even nicer is counting the notes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight beautiful notes. Ha-ha! I play eight notes, they sound like this. When I play them, I can't miss. First I play them one by one. Then I sing them just for fun La 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 First I play, then I sing But counting is my favorite thing Counting is my favorite thing <laughs> Come, let us count the notes together One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight 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 Oh, what joy, just can't wait Everybody, count to eight One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight Beautiful notes, ha <laughs> ha! Oh boy, do I love counting notes! And you know the wonderful thing about these notes? I can play them and count them another way! I play eight notes going down I play eight notes all over town First I play them one by one Then I sing them just for fun La 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 First I play, then I sing but Counting is my favorite thing, counting is my favorite thing. Now count the notes backwards from eight, here we go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. 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 Oh, what joy, just can't wait. Everybody, count to eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Beautiful notes, ha <laughs> ha. Oh, I love counting those eight notes. Counting eight notes is twice as much fun as counting four notes, or four times as much fun as counting two notes, or eight times as much fun as counting one note. Oh, I love it.
<laughs> Hello! We're, we're the, the Rhymies! I'm Mary! I'm Larry! I'm Barry! And we're camping today! In the woods far away! Uh, where it's dismal and gray! We're as free as the breeze! Doing just what we please! When the bed full of fleas in the trees make me sneeze! <laughs> uh, must you always complain? Yeah, you're really a pain! Uh, wouldn't you know, it's beginning to rain! Oh, don't listen to him! Barry's always so grim. For us, camping is fun. And it's only begun. Because today we canoed and caught fish for our food. And we've built us a fire. And piled it higher. Well, I think I'll retire before I expire. <gasps> oh, my. What do I spy? Hey, this camping is great. Pass me the plate. Oh, oh it's... I fear it's coming quite near. Larry, how is your fish? Oh, simply delish. Oh, hurry, quick, make a break. Barry, jump in the lake. Yeah, you're really a plague. No, but just look over there. Over where? Uh, I declare, oh, it's, it's a, a bear. bear. Mercy huh? me. Oh, I believe we should flee. Oh, hey, wait for me. Gee, uh, stay for tea. Double you. Water. W. Hi, Hall. This is Kermit the Frog, your Frog on the Street reporter. And pardon me, sir. Uh, we're, today we're talking about the difference between loud and soft, and we would like to know if the average man on the street uh, can tell us the difference between loud and soft. Uh, tell me, sir, do you know the difference between loud and soft? Uh, what's that? You're speaking too soft. I, I can't hear you. Speak loud. Oh, well, I was wondering if you can tell us the difference between loud and soft. I say you want to speak louder? There's a lot of cars going by here. I can't, uh, you're speaking too soft. Oh, well, uh, can, can you hear me now? I'm talking louder now. You want to talk up a little fella? Uh, can you hear me now? Now, can you hear me? Woo! Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's better? Yeah. Okay, I was wondering if you can tell us the difference between loud and soft. Uh, no, I'm sorry, fella. This is Kermit the Frog returning you to your local station. Way out in the country, very far from the cities and all the noises, lived a hippo. The reason she lived way out in the country was because it was so quiet there. <sighs> Blissful peace and wonderful quiet. Yes, it was so quiet you could hear a snail crawling. Until one day... This looks like a good place to spend the summer. As you may have guessed, things changed. Because just as the hippo liked things quiet, the mouse liked things loud. Hey, sister, what can I do for you? Would you care to have some tea with me? I would like to talk with you. Sure thing. And so, that afternoon at four... Mr. Mouse, things used to be very quiet around here. Now they seem, well... Loud, right? <laughs> yes. Even my neighbor has been complaining. I don't care who's been complaining. I like loud. Lots of noise. You know, I don't like quiet. Quiet makes me nervous. Oh, that must be my neighbor. 
By the way, ah, uh, thanks for the tea. 